From the studios of WWAY, it's the C.B. McGrath Show. The C.B. McGrath Show is brought to you by your Carolina Ford dealers, Papa John's, Molly Maid, and Harris Teeter. And now, here's your host, Mike Vaccaro. Well, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Mike Vaccaro here alongside the coach, C.B. McGrath, talking Seahawk basketball before a holiday break for us next week. But this week, we'll take a look at the highlights from the Furman matchup last night in South Carolina. We'll also look ahead to what's ahead for the Seahawks a trip down to Georgia before the holiday and we'll also have a player profile on it Ty Gadsden here today but coach uh, yesterday taking on 23rd ranked Furman before you were going to that game it was the exam break so I know uh, you, you had a chance to be with the kids but not as often as typically you are what was the week like getting ready for this matchup with the Paladins? Well, we had uh, some shooting workouts and conditioning workouts earlier in the week. And then obviously the two practices leading up to the game, um, I thought we did a good job preparing. Um, I was feeling good going into the game. I thought we had a lot of energy and effort in practice going through their stuff, how we had to defend them. <clears throat> and obviously seeing the result, it did not pan out the way I had anticipated. Um, you know. Uh, I didn't see it coming. Um, you know, we just sort of fell flat. We got back in the game, and then they went on a big run late in the game and uh, obviously closed it out. Yeah, you said post game last night that, again, you were surprised because you thought you guys planned and, and practiced so well getting ready for this matchup. And so certainly I know you're disappointed with the result last night. Yeah, you know, um, obviously we're going to watch the film today with the team and try and figure out, come up with some answers, um, talk to them about maybe what was going on through their minds during certain times of the game um, because we, we knew what they were going to try and do and uh, we did like I said we did a great job uh, in practice defending what what they were going to do and uh, obviously you can't simulate it. it's like every game we play you know people try and pretend to be Devonte when they get ready to play us and they can't simulate his strength but uh, we did not do a very good job obviously taking it from the practice into the game yesterday especially in, late in the game well, again, it was a tough challenge, nonetheless, for UNCW. 23rd ranked firm, an undefeated team, one of the last of nine undefeated so far this season. And the Seahawks really ran into a very hot Furman team yesterday. Let's take a look now at our Harris Teeter highlights. And there you see the final score. Obviously not what the Seahawks wanted to see. 93 to 50, your final is uh, the, the Seahawks again, coach. Just a, a team that's kind of in rhythm right now. They had a game on Tuesday. You guys had that layoff and, and they're just rolling right now. 
Uh, again, one of uh, just nine unbeaten teams left in the country and uh, looking a lot like it yesterday. Yeah, I mean, especially the last eight minutes of the game. You know, it was a 10-point game with, I don't know, 10 minutes to go in the, in, in the game, and they just got on a roll, and uh, I was out of timeouts, and I couldn't really stop any momentum. And uh, they got out on the break a few times and uh, made threes in transition. They made a lot of shots in transition, and we didn't put up much of a fight, at least the last 10 minutes, um, which was disappointing. Uh, I told the team that, uh, you know, and I guess I need to try and call my timeouts a little more smartly next time. I don't know, but I, I was out. Um, because I was trying to, they can go on some runs, uh, and, and we went on some runs too. Um, but uh, you know they did a good job of countering our runs better than we did theirs, and that, that last one just was was too much to handle. And they're a team that looks for that three ball quite a bit. They knocked down 17. That's tough to to counter as well. Yeah, you know they, they obviously attempted more than they normally do. Um, you know, but every game is different. But they do have a nice spread offense where they got four shooters around Rafferty, and Rafferty does a good job probing, trying to find the open man if he is guarded. And then so if you if you jam down, he finds the open man. If you don't jam down he tries to get his way around the defense and tries to score himself. So they have a nice mix and uh, obviously they're off to a great start. You know, they're in a 12-0 uh, first time in school history and obviously ranked for the first time in school history and uh, they were the better team yesterday. And certainly was in that contest. So the Seahawks uh, lone game of the week at Furman. They'll have two coming up this week. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. We'll take a break here. When we get back, a special feature on the hurricane and in, uh, its impact on UNCW, the campus community there. We'll have that coming up next. Stay with us. Voice command navigation with Waze. Wi-Fi. Santa baby. Wireless Just charging. 104 baby cubic tree. feet of cargo room and seating for eight. Now that's a sleigh. Ford Expedition. Built for the holidays. Now get zero for 60 plus 2250 cash back on Escape Edge Explorer and Expedition. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey Seahawk fans, fill your basket before every game with everything you need from Harris Teeter. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store made pizza, crowd pleasing party platters or ready to serve wing trays just to name a few. Firing up the grill, Harris Teeter Reserve Angus Beef will be the superstar of your game day meal. We guarantee it. Stop in your Harris Teeter for great savings on game day foods or download the HT app to order ahead. Harris Teeter, where Seahawk fans shop for groceries. this free time Molly Mae gave us. We could do anything with this time. Everyone deserves some free time. Call Molly Mae today for your gift of time. 392-3234. Along the coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Well, back in September, it was Hurricane Florence coming up into shore at Wrightsville Beach and uh, affecting so many things in the Wilmington community. Coach, I know it disrupted, obviously, classes at UNCW for about a month. It disrupted you guys starting uh, your season as well. It's uh, certainly been a, a strange semester for a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, obviously, everybody at the university was affected and, and probably every single person in the Wilmington community had been affected, um, some more than others. Uh, but, you know, we battled through and, uh, you know, tried to do everything we can to help the community, tried to do everything we can to help the university. And, uh, you know, fortunately enough, our guys, um, we all evacuated. And so not, none of their stuff was damaged. Um, but, yeah, it was strange starting our season somewhere else. Um, and, uh, you know, but all in all, we, we, were, we were very fortunate as a team uh, compared to a lot of people in the community, but it was a devastating storm for sure. A lot of damage on campus as well, upwards of $170 million of damage on campus. Here's now a, a piece that the Office of University Relations put together that put some things in perspective on campus following Hurricane Florence. This is unprecedented. 
There is no university that has ever tried to open up after four weeks. When I first came on campus, I was just struck by the devastation. It was like a neary feeling in some respects. There were a lot of trees down and interruption of traffic, etc. But then we went to some of the buildings, Lutzi Hall or Dobo in particular, and that was just shocking what we saw. The thought crossed my mind, you know, how are we going to recover from this? 24 hours later, I came back to campus and could not believe how much work had been done in just a day. A lot of people who had left had come back to help us, and that was beautiful to see it. Everybody was focused on students first, and everybody just came together. We have worked together tirelessly to try to come up with how do we make up these minutes. The semester was a semester of compression where we had to squeeze 15 weeks of instruction into 11 weeks. We ask students and we are asking students to do something profoundly difficult and we get it. I would say to students, work with your faculty, work with department chairs, work with advisors, and to be very realistic about courses that you may need extra time with. If there is a level of stress or a level of difficulty that's strong enough, I mean, that's what our counseling service is for. You can take advantage of a resource that's there to help you. Well, Dobo, of course, is our main science hall, and it was just devastated. Any of our alumni who have graduated since the late 90s know Dobo Hall. It's really the heart and soul of our programs in the sciences. We've relocated and redeployed and moved people to different places. Right now we have biology faculty that are fairly cramped in Friday Hall. We have chemistry folks down at CMS and Marbionic. And because those are two really strong departments, they're making it work. We'll have the labs for them, additional labs in January, February, and certainly all the labs that they've been used to by July, August of next year. My feeling about Dobo is that we're going to come out of it with a building that's going to be fully renovated and much better than before. Not just getting it back online, but getting it back online and better. The students and the faculty are very resilient. I've seen it over and over in so many ways. During this time where we're adjusting and we're trying to get back up on our feet, focus on what brought you here, and that is the relationships you have with the colleagues, the relationships you have with the students, and the kind of work that you can do here that you can't do at other places. When we look at our employee relief fund and our campus emergency fund that supports students, I've been really impressed with the number of donors that have come forward. People have been paying attention and they've been very, very helpful. Looking back, I'm still going to think that we did well. I think I'll remember really well just how well we worked together. I think we'll look back on it not as a fond memory, but as a profound moment in UNCW's history. The intensity right now is going to be something that one can look back on and it be a good story that enables them to talk about how they are resilient. We learned what we have in us to respond to situations like this. This university will endure and when it gets put back together, it'll be better than ever. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now we're delivering extra value, too. When the Seahawks win, you win. Get 50% off your online order the day after a Seahawks men's or women's victory with code Seahawks. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now we're delivering extra value, too. When the Seahawks win, you win. Get 50% off your online order the day after a Seahawks men's or women's victory with code Seahawks. Voice command navigation with Waze. Wi-Fi. Santa baby. Wireless charging. 104 cubic feet of cargo room and seating for eight. Now that's a sleigh. Ford Expedition. Built for the holidays.
Now get 0 for 60 plus 2250 cash back on Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, Seahawks fans, fill your basket before every game with everything you need from Harris Teeter. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store-made pizza, crowd-pleasing party platters, or ready-to-serve wing trays, just to name a few. Firing up the grill? Harris Teeter Reserve Angus Beef will be the superstar of your game day meal. We guarantee it. Stop in your Harris Teeter for great savings on game day foods or download the HT app to order ahead. Harris Teeter, where Seahawk fans shop for groceries. Along the coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Time now for this week's player profile. And unfortunately, Coach, we didn't get a chance to see him yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Ty Ganson, who is uh, really giving this team a, a nice lift. He was uh, coming off the bench, became a starter as well, but unfortunately currently on the shelf, but still he's been a, certainly a nice addition to this team. Yeah, Ty G's done a lot of great things for us so far, and uh, hopefully he'll be coming back at some point this season. We just don't know with his injury. Um, you know, it's everybody's body's different. Everybody's body reacts to different kind of treatments. Um, so. We're, we're hopeful um, that he can come back and, and be full strength or at least help us some um, because obviously without him and uh, now Jockey's out too, you know, we, we have a no depth at the point guard position, uh, which is obviously a very valuable position. But Ty G, he's done, he's done a lot of great things. You know, he, he, he wants UNCW to be successful. And so he just does what he needs to do um, to have that happen, whether it's making open shots, defending, getting the ball where it needs to be. Um, he, he's been terrific for us, and uh, like I said, we just hope to have a, a healthy Ty G at some point again. And, and that's kind of the compliments I hear from you a lot about him. He just seems like he's a great teammate, a great team player on this team right now. Yeah, f from my vantage point, he is. You know, he, he is doing what we need more guys to do, you know, to not necessarily worry about how many minutes you play, how many shots you get, um, but do the best you can do when you're in the game. You know, be productive, help UNCW when you're in the game. Um, you know, don't talk about it when you're out of the game. Don't uh, think about your mistakes while you're in the game. Just be productive. And he certainly has been that this year. He is the CA's top three-point threat as well. Tanner Barth has more now on Ty Gadsden. Since arriving at UNCW this year, Seahawks sophomore Ty Gadsden has done nothing but ball out. The junior college transfer is UNCW's fourth leading scorer in his first season sporting the Seahawk colors, and family was a big reason why he landed in Wilmington after his time at Vincennes University. I think about my family a lot, and they told me like they didn't care where I went, but I cared because I want them to see me play as much as they can because you know my grandparents have been watching me play my whole life and they've been trying to come to every game, but they couldn't do that last year because of how far it was, so I thought about them. Ganston has saw his minutes increase dramatically since the beginning of the season, with now three starts under his belt, and when he signed his letter of intent, he was ready to be the jack of all trades for head coach C.B. McGrath. Doing whatever coach needs me to do, whether that's me handling the ball or moving off to the two spot where I need to, if I need to knock down a jump shot or if I need to make a play and uh, play defense. Ty's jump from the JUCO level to Division I basketball has seemed seamless to the casual fan, even though it's been quite the transition. But at the end of the day, basketball is still basketball. It's a big difference um, from school sizes to how many people go to the school. Um, but as far as basketball, the work stays the same. The work ethic has to, has to stay the same. We asked Ty who he models his game after on the hardwood, and his answer, well, it can be found on the front of his Seahawk jersey. Russell Westbrook and Kyrie. You see, I wear number zero because of Westbrook. Ty and his teammates have formed quite the bond both on and off the basketball floor over the past six months. But there might be one thing that they don't necessarily agree on, and that's the choice of pregame music. I don't listen to a lot of the same music as them. I listen to rap, but I listen to more 90s rap. I don't listen to much that comes out today. I just think that era of rap was better. Before a game, I'm usually listening to Mob Deep, though. Mob Deep must be working for Gadsden as he continues to improve and looks to make his name known in the CAA in a conference that is the survival of the fittest.
gift from Molly made. Wow! Honey, look at all this free time Molly made gave us. We could do anything with this time. Everyone deserves some free time. Call Molly Maid today for your gift of time. 392-3234. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now we're delivering extra value, too. When the Seahawks win, you win. Get 50% off your online order the day after a Seahawks men's or women's victory with code Seahawks. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now we're delivering extra value, too. When the Seahawks win, you win. Get 50% off your online order the day after a Seahawks men's or women's victory with code Seahawks. Voice command navigation with Waze. Wi-Fi. Santa baby. Wireless Just charging. 104 cubic tree. feet of cargo room and seating for eight. Now that's a sleigh. Ford Expedition. Built for the holidays. Now get zero for 60 plus 2250 cash back on Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Along the coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Bring you back in time now for this week's play of the week. We go back to last night down there in Greenville, South Carolina. The Seahawks taking on 23rd ranked Furman in one play certainly stood out above the rest. High rising play. Let's take a look now at our play of the week. Gotten accustomed to especially on the End of this one, Devontae Kaycock, but a nice feed from half court as well on the alley oop dunk from Kai Tabes. Certainly uh, an outstanding play last night for UNCW. Kai Tabes, one of the best, leading the CAA in assists, and we see it there in the flush on the other end for Devontae Kaycock. So, Coach, I know you like that play. You want to see more of that, and hopefully we do here moving forward for UNCW. We take a look now at this week's Molly Made Glass Cleaner of the Week as uh, not or excuse me, the player of the week first from the, our Carolina Ford player of the week. And it is Matt Elmore. And you, know, you look at the numbers here, eight points. It's a career high for him. Shot well. And you, you talk about going in there and playing well in your minutes that you're on the floor. I think he embodied that yesterday, 12 minutes, and some really good numbers for Matt Elmore. Yeah, he did. You know, he made a couple baskets, and, and his teammates set him up to get him in shots in position where he could score it. Um, you know, Matt has worked hard, and he's been hurt <clears throat> for a few years and uh, has gotten himself back into shape and uh, proven in practice that he deserved a chance. And yesterday he, he was very productive and he got a couple of rebounds. So I told him, I, so you really concentrate on rebounding because if you're going in there, you're going in there for Sean or you're going in there for Devontae. We need somebody else to rebound. And then defensively, and you know, we weren't very good defensively in the second half at all. Um, and, uh, but Matt did a nice job. Yeah, and some of the shots that he made too on the baseline and I saw a little hook shot in the, the paint as well. So with only 11 guys right now, all these guys, their, their minutes may be going up. Yeah, and, and Matt has great touch. You know, uh, he can he can step out to three. Um, he's, he's always been a guy that has great touch and has a good feel for the game. His body just hasn't enabled him to play as many minutes as he probably should have because of his knees. Right, we'll see what happens moving forward in the conference play, but this week's Carolina Ford a Dealers Player of the Week is Matt Elmore. As for the Molly May Glass Cleaner of the Week, and. Uh, well, it's Jalen Forns this week. As you look at his numbers from yesterday, he led the team in rebounds with six rebounds, too shy of his career high there, played 25 minutes as well. Coach, I know, you know this is not a number that you're used to seeing as far as your, your team leader, but he did a nice job from that guard spot getting those rebounds, on a lot of those threes that Furman was taking, the ones that they missed. Yeah, long shots, long rebounds. It gives our wings and guards a chance to get some boards as opposed to the big guys who are under the basket. And uh, Jalen, obviously, in the past, has had some good rebounding games for us, and yesterday he was our leading rebounder. But we rebounded by committee yesterday. Uh, they obviously out-rebounded us and really attacked us on the offensive boards, and they just out hustled us for the long rebound sometimes where they might tip it out. We almost had it, they tip it out and they chase it down. So, um, you know, it wasn't what we wanted, uh, wasn't the effort that we wanted on the boards and on the court. Uh, and so we're gonna work hard to correct that. Well, again, Jalen Forns is this week's Molly Made Glass Cleaner of the Week. 
We're taking our final break. When we get back, we'll preview the trip to Georgia. The Seahawks take on Georgia State and Mercer coming up. Plus, it's a start of conference play as well. All that straight ahead. Stay with us. Hey, Seahawk fans, fill your basket before every game with everything you need from Harris Teeter. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store-made pizza, crowd-pleasing party platters, or ready-to-serve wing trays, just to name a few. Firing up the grill? Harris Teeter Reserve Angus Beef will be the superstar of your game day meal. We guarantee it. Stop in your Harris Teeter for great savings on game day foods or download the HT app to order ahead. Harris Teeter, where Seahawk fans shop for groceries. this free time Molly Mae gave us. We could do anything with this time. Everyone deserves some free time. Call Molly Mae today for your gift of time. 392-3234. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now we're delivering extra value too. When the Seahawks win, you win. Get 50% off your online order the day after a Seahawks men's or women's victory with code Seahawks. At Papa John's, when it comes to better ingredients, better pizza, we deliver. And now we're delivering extra value, too. When the Seahawks win, you win. Get 50% off your online order the day after a Seahawks men's or women's victory with code Seahawks. Voice command navigation with Waze. Wi-Fi. Santa baby. Wireless Just charging. 104 cubic tree. feet of cargo room and seating for eight. Now that's a sleigh. Ford Expedition, built for the holidays. Now get zero for 60 plus 2250 cash back on Escape Edge Explorer and Expedition, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Hey, Seahawk fans, fill your basket before every game with everything you need from Harris Teeter. Delicious subs and wraps, fresh hot store-made pizza, crowd-pleasing party platters, or ready-to-serve wing trays, just to name a few. Firing up the grill? Harris Teeter Reserve Angus Beef will be the superstar of your game day meal. We guarantee it. Stop in your Harris Teeter for great savings on game day foods or download the HT app to order ahead. Harris Teeter, where Seahawk fans shop for groceries. Well, for UNCW on the middle of a uh, four-game road swing before the holiday break, as you take a look at this week's schedule, delivered by Papa John's. It continues Wednesday at Georgia State, Friday at Mercer, and then no show for us next week. So we look ahead as well to December 29th, the CA opener against Charleston coming up in the Seahawks. Finally, we return back to Trask Coliseum. But, Coach, I know going to Georgia, uh, this was kind of a point of emphasis for you, for Kaycock, your senior uh, forward to try to get him back closer to home here in the senior season. Yeah, obviously I want uh, Devontae for as much as he's done for the program to have a chance to play closer to home and have family and friends not have to travel as far. Um, and so it just happened that we, got, we were able to find two games down there. Um, you know, the original plan was to get one, and, uh, but something came up so we could get two. And so we'll be down there for, we're just staying, obviously. We're not going to drive back and forth, um, but uh, we're flying there and uh, going to play Georgia State, who's a really good team. They've beaten Alabama and Georgia already this year, and then we'll, we'll uh, stick around and play Mercer. And then after that, our guys will go back to their homes or where they're going for Christmas. And it's a philosophy. I think you go back to Dean Smith used to do this. Obviously, Coach Williams doing it as well for these seniors to try to get them back to closer to home in their last season. Yeah, yeah. If it works out, you, you, they definitely try to do that. Um, you know, a lot of guys are from North Carolina, so it's easier for their families to get here. Some guys, you know, are closer to some conference opponents, um, and so we don't really have any conference opponents in Atlanta um, area. So it did work out, and uh, hopefully, you know, his family and friends will appreciate it, and hopefully Devontae will play great. Uh, again, so we take a look at that schedule coming up. And, uh, well, Georgia State used to be in the conference. The Seahawks actually, this will be the 20th meeting between the Seahawks and the Panthers, the Seahawks 9 and 10. But it's been a while, a couple seasons before they played each other. And then Mercer uh, on Friday, again, 7 o'clock. We'll have both those games on the uh, Seahawks Digital Network, on the Breeze as well. And then conference play, December 29th. And it's the rival Charleston in town. That'll be the next time the Seahawks will be at home. Coach, best of luck this week in Georgia. All right, thank you. To Carol for our entire crew. Thanks for joining us. Have a happy holiday. We'll talk to you in two weeks. We'll be our next CD McGrath show.
E.B. McGrath Show is brought to you by your Carolina Ford dealers, Papa John's, Molly Maid, and Harris Teeter. 